Good morning to everyone. Namaste. Namaste, Gopal. Welcome to the morning session. Namaste, Bhaiya. Am I audible? Yes, we are audible. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, welcome to all. Namaste, Sabiko. In this morning session, we are we are practicing exercise two and trying to see trying to see body trying to see interaction between the self and the body interaction between me and the body so this is what we are trying to observe in exercise 2 So, we are practicing step 1, 2, 3, 4 and we have started step 5. So, if anyone of us has some sharing, what? Namaste, Didi. Baya, Namaste. Sabito, Namaste. Ji. Baya, with regarding to the discussion yesterday, I could make out what I have to do at my end. The question now, okay. Baya, is it okay to explore and see um, what would be the other person's motive to put false allegations against me? Uh, will it be fine to think about in those lines, Baya? Or I should uh, see only from my perspective. This is my first question, Baya. Related to that, uh, suppose in general, what could be anybody's intention if someone is putting false allegation against the other? What could be their motive or objective? That's it, Baya. So, before understanding others, we should be in harmony in ourselves. So, if I am not in harmony in me, then it will be difficult to understand others' perspective or others' objective or motivation. So that's why we are saying in, in this exercise that first we can be aware of our potential. First we can be in a state of pure observer. And once I am in a state of pure observer, then I can see my sanskar, I can evaluate my sanskar. Based on this, I can decide what feelings are naturally acceptable to me. With this feeling, which is naturally acceptable to me. For example, feeling of trust, feeling of respect. Then we can communicate with other person. Then we can communicate uh, my words to other person. Then we can try to understand his or her sanskars. This we can do, but first objective is to be in harmony within me then only I can listen other person you know, with open mind. Otherwise, I will be in a reactive state and it will be difficult See. to understand others' perspective. So we have to interact with others. We have to communicate right things about me. But first, we must be in harmony. Otherwise, Whenever you interact with that person, you will be in a contradictory state. And once you are in a contradictory state, then there is a possibility to not to listen other person completely, others perspective con completely. So we can express outside to understand all, all these things, but first we must be in harmony within ourselves. So this is what we are saying, Didi. Okay, okay, okay Baya. 
ఫైన్ ఫైన్ భయ్య సో ఫస్ట్ ఐ హ్యావ్ టు బీ ఇన్ హార్మోనియస్ స్టేట్ ఓకే భయ్య రిగార్డింగ్ మై సెకండ్ క్వశ్చన్ భయ్య ఎస్ జీ దిది జనరలీ వాట్ వుడ్ what would be the reason if someone is saying false allegation against the other person acha what is the reason so ji, when ji. you will interact Some... with well when you will interact with him or her hai na possibly you will be able to find out the reason hai na possibly you will be find out the reason whether he or she is in confusion you know whether he or she has some wrong information about me whether he or she has wrong perception about me you know so you may find out this reason but again i am trying to communicate while doing all these things what is required for me her state of harmony or state of contradiction within myself that we can decide otherwise we will get influenced again and again by his words mm. by his behavior and once you are in a reactive state then it will be difficult to understand other person mm. so a communication has to be done but state of harmony in me is also required then only mm. i can respond to him while communicating otherwise i will be in a reactive state so this mm. is what mm. i am trying to say didi ji ji didi bye right didi yeah yeah bye got the point bye okay thank you thank you so much bye that's it from my side thanks okay didi so we are practicing this step 5 we are trying to observe step by step the interaction of outside and when i interact outside uh, when i interact with other person how things are happening step by step that we are trying to see in this step 5 so if anyone has observed interaction with other human being step by step what has happened at the level of body what happens at the level of self na what happens at the level of sanskar how i become happy or unhappy when i am deciding to express myself am i aware all these things while interacting with others or not this is we are trying to see in this step 5 ji namaste bhaiya uh, uh, yesterday i observed the step 5 uh, mm-hmm. uh, step uh, exercise 2 step 5 and i uh, seen that i am harmonious uh, at all full day and i never uh, means uh, go outside the balance i was uh, my voice as was uh, uh, my voice was very low as well as i am uh, interacting to each and every other other persons in my college uh, uh, that was the very happiest stress yesterday i observed bhaiya and i am doing also the step wise all the exercises ji bhaiya this is my yesterday's observation Yes. So you are telling state of your consciousness. Ha. Ji. I know. That you are in harmony. Ha. Uh, uh, exercise two. Ah. Uh, step five. Yesterday I am yeah. doing the um, practice because of whatever the exercise is floating on our group. I am going again, re-going it uh, for this all these exercise because of um, uh, yeah, the very high gap in between. We we was in Kanpur now. so again i am uh, going to search all these things re again ji bhaiya okay so is okay, today's observations nice. was like this okay bhaiya that's nice ji ji bhaiya so okay. let me brief this ex- step 5 again okay can we take sharing from others okay. co explorers uh so let's try to understand this step 5 first ji bhaiya 
स्टार्ट टेकिंग ऑब्जर्वेशन जी वो ओके भैया जी भैया आई डू इट अगेन आई एम गोइंग इट अगेन बिकॉज़ ऑफ आई एम फीलिंग द हैप्पीनेस इन साइड वी हैव टू डू इट अगेन एंड अगेन <laughs> i'm concentrating on because of uh, now the uh, in the in the eighth batch i was not doing the that properly but uh, from the eighth batch whatever the observations in me i'm observing clearly and uh, uh, i'm uh, traveling towards the shuddha drashta I, i can see that ji bhaiya yeah. yes so when i am in a state of pure observer shuddha drashta then yeah. i will be aware of impacts on my body of others behavior i will be aware of my decisions i will be aware of my sanskars ji bhaiya i will be aware of my decisions when to instruct the body ji bhaiya and i will be aware that my, my body just follows my instructions ji bhaiya so at the state of pure observer i will be aware of all these sub steps ji bhaiya so that is nice if you are able to see all these steps step by step ji bhai okay bhai ji ji namaste namaste sabhi ko namaste bhai okay so let's uh, i will brief this step 5 so in this case the slide is open we are trying to describe what happens at the level of body what happens at the level of consciousness when i interact with other person suppose someone some person act with you for example he say something you know for example he is using abusive words while interacting with you so we may take two cases one case is when i am with my friend close friend childhood friend so when i am sitting with my childhood friend and we both in a jolly mood and a mood and he use some abusive language this is one case second case is i am sitting in office with a person whom i don't think that he is a good person and he uses some abusive words abusive language now in both the cases what will happen at the level of body what will happen at the level of uh, self that we will see step by step so in both the cases language is same sentence is same and when sound of those words come into my ear so it creates some effect some physiochemical activity takes place whenever sound comes to my ear so it affects my body it creates some sensation this is happening at the level of body now you have to tell me you know all the participants all the co-explorer at the level of body the physiochemical change will happen similar or it will be different what do you think we can write on chat box language is same words are same they are reaching to our body to ear once case is first case is i am sitting with my childhood friend he is using abusive language yeah. second case is i am sitting in office with a person whom i think is not good a person both are using same words now at the level of body when this sound comes to my ear some physiochemical change happens so at the level of body i am trying to ask at the level of body there will be a sensation will it be same or different for both the person some are saying different some are saying 
same different sensation same you know so mixed answer are, are there so if anyone is saying that it is different then you may share it if anyone is want to share that it is similar we can also share it so let me ask Uh, namaste, Bhaiya. Namaste to all my co-explorers. Uh, it namaste, is different. Uh, depends on uh, because of uh, if we have uh, with uh, we are with uh, if I am with a childhood friend, then the way I uh, give the meaning to that sensation is different than uh, if I am with my colleague or somebody in the office. So it's all depends on the way I interpret the things. So the sensations are different. What I so, uh, have uh, So this will happen at the level of sanskar, at the level of consciousness. Yes. And what yes. I am trying to ask, Bhaiya, when these words comes in touch of my ear, touch with yeah. my ear, yeah. Will it create sensation, similar sensation or different sensation? I am not reading anything. Sensation um, similar, but uh, yes. uh, the way we receive may be different. Yes, that may be different. But at the level of body, some physiochemical activity will take place. Only this will happen. Yes. yes. So, so this is what I am asking at the level of body. I am not reading anything. But at the level of body, some physiochemical changes will take place. This will happen at the level of the body. Right, Bhaiya? Yes, yes. Yes. That's okay. all. So, the, the physiochemical thing happen in the body also depends on the uh, imagination running in our mind. Because uh, the way we uh, take it uh, seriously or lightly or some other samskars based on samskars. And based on understanding about others, so all these uh, factors will influence uh, my 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 imagination. Then it leads to uh, that, or I am unable to observe the physiochemical changes uh, which I receive. I, I want a little bit clarity. That we will see, Bhaiya. When consciousness comes into picture, that we will see. But this time, I am just asking at the level of body, only physiochemical activity will take place whenever sound comes into uh, in touch with this my body, in touch with my ear. Yeah. Some physiochemical yeah. uh, activity will take place yeah. Yeah. at the level of body. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Yes. So, Surikant, Surikant Ji with us, he wants to share something. Yeah, Namaste, yes, yeah. yeah. Namaste. Uh, as the discussion is going on, uh, I hope at the level of body it is same. But when we talk yes. the interaction with the cell, uh, then the things will be different. Bhaiya. Yes. Yes, that we will discuss. Yeah. That we will discuss shortly. Yeah. But if we, is... if we try to see at the level of body, so some physiochemical activity has taken place. When sound comes in touch with my ear, some physiochemical activity takes place. Is yes. it okay or not? It is same, Bhaiya. It is same to all. Okay. 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 So at the level of body, only physiochemical activities is taking place. Namaste, Bhaiya. Bhaiya, in fact, Namaste. even I feel that when it comes to the level of body, physical chemical changes are same. Jab aata hai self mein, then only we find uh, the differences. Yes. Am I correct? Okay, Didi. Okay, Didi. That's right. Only physical chemical activity will take place. Na? This will happen with the body. Okay. This is first step. So I, uh, some words are spoken by other person. This sound of words comes into my ear touch my ear when it touches my ear some physiochemical activity takes place so at the level of body some physiochemical activity is taking place right now ask yourself 
मतलब ईच वन ऑफ अस कैन आस्क एम आई बाउंड टू रीड दिस सेंसेशन दैट वर्ड्स वी कैन राइट इन चैट बॉक्स एम आई बाउंड टू रीड दैट वर्ड्स यस नो मे बी वी मे रिस्पॉन्स ओके सो मोस्ट ऑफ अस इज सेइंग नो वी आर नॉट बाउंड so if we think it is important to listen that person i take decision to read that sensation if i think it is not important to listen that person then i don't read those sensation so many of us are writing on chat box it is it depends on priority you know we are not bound so important point is we are not we can take decision if we take decision we will read it if we don't take decision we will not it read it so we read sensation decisively na so it is my decision to read it or not to read it so when i am taking decision now i am involved so if i take decision then i am involved and i will read the sensation if i don't take decision i will not read those sensation okay. so in that sense we are not bound so this is the next step sub step now let's move further when i am reading this sensation so same words in both the cases when i decide to read the sensation i read that sensation with decision so case one is when i am sitting with my childhood friend case two is when i am sitting with a person whom i think he is not a good person so in both the cases sensation is happening at the level of body i decide to read then i, I will read if i decide not to read then i will not read so i take decision to read this sensation because i think it is important to listen that person so i am taking decision in me now when i read this sensation it will impact me similar by the uh, same way or impact will be different in me what do you think same or different same impact or different impact that we can also write in chat box so once i have taken decision to read this sensation now i am reading that sensation now the impact will be different or same in me okay so most of us you know are saying different so can we share one or two co explorer can share why it is different why impact is different so let's take one or two sharing namaste bhaiya namaste all namaste bhaiya uh, yes it is it is different we react mm -hmm. different we respond differently because of our sanskar because in case of childhood friend uh, we can try to manage that yes there something happened which is very minor uh, so we do not take it into our body or our self but otherwise in the second case uh, we have a strong uh, sanskar or preconditioning about the person so it is already there and it will persist so therefore i find a great difference or altogether two different things and we react differently thank you oh. so let's take one more sharing bhaiya to me i feel that uh, 
the first one i already have a feeling of relatedness and so my sanskar mm -hmm. would be according to it and reaction would be less or may not be also but the second case if there is no feeling of relation obviously it will be in re reaction only and i will show difference accordingly so sanskar plays a vital role over there for me ji okay. bhaiya okay ji yeah good morning all uh, yeah, it is uh, the meaning which we attach to that particular uh, thing the meaning uh, as okay. rightly paid by uh, others also it is based on the sanskar which i have and, uh, and and the understanding that yes i am related to the person one or i am not related to the person another one so the, that that uh, understanding that i am related to uh, uh, my friend will have uh, a different uh, say meaning in, oh. in me. and uh, that oh. be, the response will be different okay bhai okay bhai nice thank you गुड मॉर्निंग भैया नमस्ते भैया नमस्ते सभी को एक्सप्लोरर जी आई थिंक द इंटेंशन ऑफ माय क्लोज फ्रेंड इज डिफरेंट फ्रॉम द पर्सन हु इज सिटिंग नियर टू मी इज डिफरेंट दैट इज व्हाई आई विल डिसाइड और समथिंग विल यू नो विल टेक प्लेस द इंटेंशन ओके काउंट्स ओके ओके थैंक यू भैया ओके सो लेट्स रिवाइज ऑल द स्टेप्स अगेन है ना देन सम सेंसेशन हैज टेकन प्लेस अवेलेबल ऑफ बॉडी आई डिसाइड टू रीड इट दैट्स व्हाई आई एम रीडिंग इट इफ आई डोंट डिसाइड टू रीड इट आई डोंट रीड इट सो इन दिस केस आई हैव डिसाइडेड टू रीड दोस सेंसेशन so with my decision i am reading those sensation and interestingly if i ask one question here how do we decide that this is a abusive world how we are deciding it that this is abusive world can anybody it uh, uh bhaiya it is uh, uh, because uh... I've been trained uh, like that. I mean, uh, since my childhood, uh, say for example, uh, I should not use this word here, but let but let use it. Uh, if I am from Haryana, then uh, we normally have mm -hmm. in Haryana that uh, Londi idea, uh, Raja. But the same word in Maharashtra will be very very abusive. Okay. Mm -hmm. So so. so the way i am trained the way my sanskars are there the way mm -hmm. my surrounding is there i am habituated to understand certain word in certain fashion in certain meaning so, so that way uh, it will uh, uh, design my response is it okay here i think that is what i feel okay okay hmm. yes we yes we yeah. nice we yeah. so let's take one or two uh, sharing you know why how i have recognized that this is abusive word or abusive language so yeah namaste bhaiya namaste to you i am audible bhaiya namaste yes bhaiya yes yeah uh, i am able to see this uh, uh, as my uh, assumption only bhaiya so what i have heard about earlier uh, this is my precondition i uh, only uh, recently i am aware of this part earlier i used to think that this is what it is uh, because i was not able to see the reality i am also uh, in the way of transformation at the uh, myself is uh, trying to transform and now i am able to connect that this is also a assumption in me that this is an abusive language because i am not able to see the reality as it is so so that is what is my observation okay yeah thank you okay yes bhaiya the language that is been spoken and the meaning that i have given to it so that differs like how i am sensing it and how i am giving the meaning for the language been spoken decides whether it is abusive or how whatever it is ji bhaiya okay. okay okay so let's sum up uh, all the sharing 
so we know the language that language already has in my mind so i have that background of language that's why i am able to interpret those sensation na if i don't know that language then i won't be interpret those sensation hai na these will be only a sound for us so suppose many animals are nearby us like dog barks hai na birds make sounds so we are not able to interpret it because we don't have a background of that language so if don't we don't have a background of that language then it will be a sound only sound for us because we know the language that's why i am able to interpret it and with background of that language we have a set of some good and bad these words are good these words are bad you know we have assumed it uh, or we have a some acceptance that this kind of words in this language are good this kind of words in this language are not good on that basis i consider those words that are spoken by others bad word or good word is it right or not we can write on chat box and because i know that language and in that language i have some acceptance that this kind of words are good this kind of words are not good so when i interpret those sensations and it if it matches with those assumptions then i say these are good words if these words don't matches with my assumption then i say these are not good words so this is the next sub step on the basis of language i am trying to see others word good or bad as good or bad right and these assumptions through which i am trying to interpret these sensations so these assumptions are my sanskar it may be based on knowing or it may be based on assuming so if i have assumed that this kind of words are bad words you know so for example if someone has said some wrong words abusive words and i have assumed that these words are wrong so based on that assumption i may be in a reaction because i feel that someone is disrespecting me once i interpret as disrespect then i may feel unhappy but same word in other area in other language if someone has assumed that these words are good words so with same sensation he may feel happy because of his own assumption are we able to see it or can we give one example of one abusive word this is abusive word in one language when people listen it they may come in reaction but the same word in other language is considered a good word and when people listen it they feel happy can we give share one example if anyone has भैया दिस वर्ड स्पीक इन हिंदी से तू तू आप तुम दिस तू में भी मे लुक वेरी से अ सिंगुलर वर्ड और सिंगुलर भी जस्ट अ पॉइंटेड वर्ड अ वेरी एरोगेटिव वर्ड फॉर सम पीपल फॉर सम इन सम रिलेशनशिप्स एंड इन सम एरियाज ऑल्सो but then this two word may be taken very lightly considering the uh, the places the areas or the or the relationships is a simple word uh, even uh, the way you speak to maybe with a different tone then that will mm -hmm. also be different meaning 
इज इट ओके भैया भैया यू आर हाँ राइट है वेरी ओके सो इफ यू सीन एन सी आर है ना दिस टू वर्ड इज वेरी कॉमन या एंड नो बडी फील डिसरिस्पेक्ट बट इन सिटी लाइक लखनऊ एंड कानपुर इफ यू टॉक इन दिस वर्ड टू टू इट इज फेल्ट एज ए डिसरिस्पेक्ट राइट so people may start fighting how can you say like this uh, but the same word people are enjoying in ncr yeah. yes and also so this is our assumption we have with the people say for example yes. in in friends we say sale kaha tha and the same sale mm. will go uh, uh, with another feeling of relative that yes ha ye mera sala hai and the same word yes, can yes. go very differently that uh, yaar tumne mujhe galat di yes 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 right here so if i have assumed it as a wrong word i feel unhappy in me if i have assumed it as a right word i feel happy so with my assumption i feel happy or unhappy and i have gives given some meaning to these words and with these words i become happy sometimes i become unhappy similarly if i have a feeling of relationship and other person is saying the word so because i have a feeling of relationship i don't consider it as a disrespect but the same word is spoken by a person for whom i have a feeling of opposition i may feel disrespect so at the level of feeling so i am when i listen these words what sanskars are working in me based on those sanskar i give meaning to those words it is very important to note words words are only sound sentences are only sound but i will be happy or i will be unhappy it depends on my interpretation and these interpretation may be based on reality or may be based on some assumption so most of the time we listen other persons with assumptions that's why some words hurt me and some words don't hurt me so this is how we interact with other person with my assumptions and so based on those assumption based on those sanskar i may react i may respond so same words are being spoken in one area i respond to that person after listening that word same words are being spoken in another area but i react on those words so it depends on my assumption my sanskar so once i decide to react i decide to respond then i instruct my body when i instruct my body so body follows again my instruction and now my expression is with reaction so this is how this steps are going on so we have to interrupt ourselves at each step and we have to think whether i am getting influence with my assumptions with my sanskar or am i able to see the reality so this we have to practice now the more we are able to see assumptions the more we will get opportunity to reevaluate these assumptions so this is how this step 5 sub steps of this step 5 are working so something happens at the level of body physiochemical activities take place if i decide to read i read it when i read it i give some meaning based on my sanskar based on my that meaning i get influenced or may not get influenced if i am influenced na then i may choose react or respond so when i take decision now i have to react because i am feeling disrespected so when i decide to react 
I inspect my body and to show my reaction. So body follows it, and my reaction reaches to the other persons. So this is how these steps are working. Now with the reality, we can see all these uh, sub steps. So how we will see with the knowing of reality, and you know, that I am going to explain it all these sub steps. So when I listen this. Uh, bad words or abusive language and you know? so at the level of body impact is same some physiochemical activity is taking place and i decide to read it so i am reading it i know language so i am interpreting it you know? when i am interpreting it if i am aware of the reality at that time while interpreting it so i may see this event as the other person's competence so other person is not comfortable in his in the self so that's why in the reaction he is using these kind of words but his intention is good if i am aware of this reality that his intention is good but due to some contradiction in consciousness you know, he has decided to use this word so if i am focusing on intention i may decide not to react i may decide to re respond him with feeling of kindness with compassion i may decide it if i know i am aware about the reality and with this response now i instruct my body to convey my feeling so body follows it with definite expression so in this whole sequence now i am not hurt i am not feeling disrespect disrespected because i am aware of intention and competence both so when i am focusing on intention i am not getting influenced by his word in fact i am evaluating his competence rightly so once i evaluate his competence or her competence rightly then i decide to express with the feeling of trust express myself with the feeling of respect kindness compassion and once i decide i instruct my body and body is body it will just follow my instruction and this is the one way when i can express myself so if you see the role of body it is very definite you know the role of body is only to pass information outside information now it is up to me whether i will read it or not read it so once i read it i may be in a reaction i may be in a response based on my sanskars so this is how these steps are working right so is it 618 you know 618 so we can take 5 minutes pause here and we will try to see all these sub steps in me with awareness and we will keep practicing it all the day whenever i interact with the person whenever i decide to read his words or you know then what assumptions are working me how i am giving meaning to those words why am i am getting influenced am i aware of my sanskar am i aware of the reality this we we have to observe all the time all the day every moment right so let's take 5 minutes pause here and we will try to observe these step step by step so you may sit comfortably and just observe your sensation impacts of sensation on you 
योर संस्कार योर डिसीजन टू रिएक्ट और रिस्पॉन्ड दिस वी कैन ऑब्जर्व इन आर सेल्फ सो लेट्स थ्री टू फोर मिनट ब्रेक हेयर ओके सो लेट्स कम बैक आई होप वी हैव ऑब्जर्व ऑल दीज सब स्टेप्स एंड ऑब्जर्वेशन इज इम्पॉर्टेंट ऑब्जर्वेशन विथ अवेयरनेस इज इम्पॉर्टेंट सो द मोर वी ऑब्जर्व दीज सब स्टेप्स मोर वी विल फाइंड अपॉर्चुनिटी टू इंटरप्ट my sanskar if i am not aware of these steps we may get impression that things happen immediately but if i am aware of all these steps then we will be able to see that things are not happening so immediately i have enough opportunity to correct my sanskar to decide whether to react or to respond to decide whether to read or not to read so all these things can happen if i am observing all these sub steps carefully with awareness so let me briefly revise all these sub steps again then no, there is also time of in this session so what i said in today's session is very simple when i interact with some other person na so some other if you see some other person he or she say something to me when he or she say something that words na that sounds come into my touch in my body when it touches my body some physiochemical activity take place in body and if i decide that this listening this person is very important then i read this sensation if i don't decide so i don't read that sensation so once i decide i start reading those sensation and i start interpreting those sensation and this interpretation is based on my assumption because i know language and with that language i have accepted some good words some bad words so i have assumed that these words of this kind of words are good words this kind of words are bad words and on based of that assumption i may be influenced i may not be influenced so these words are not good words according to my assumption then i may get influenced once i get influenced then i decide to react once i decide to react i instruct my body to say these words then body starts working according to his uh, its own nervous system so this is how i express myself outside so body is just following my instruction if i decide to read it i read this sensation once i read this sensation now all the drama is happening in me once i decide to express outside i give instruction to the body body acts according to my instruction and i express myself outside so this is how all the sub steps are working so now tomorrow we will see is in a different manner with more examples